Chris and I, we are house sitting, dog sitting, cat sitting, plant sitting, frog sitting for a whole week. Jahao and his husband Tyler are currently in Taiwan and so we are taking over their place for the time being. It'll be like an updated plant tour for some of you guys. We are gonna start off strong and I'm gonna feed the frogs. It kind of scares me, like I don't really like bugs. Chris didn't want to do this so I am taking over this duty. There's one in here, this is sweet pea, and then there's one, I think, either in this terrarium or in this terrarium. I think there are crickets in here, and I still have to find sweet pea because I don't know where she is. Sweet pea, sweet pea, how do you find a frog? Oh, by the way, this is Penny, the dog, and then there's Theo. Good luck, Chris. Theo does not know how to play correctly. He's too tiny. Give him a hug. We try to find Sweet Pea and the other frog and we can't find them because it's too dark. So we asked her how to turn on the lights, um, but it's like 5.30 a.m. in Taiwan, so yeah. I'm also too scared to look deeper. <laughs> I don't want to I know, scared. I feel like we're gonna get jump scared if we pull a leaf back. Chris has to clean the litter box um, for Salem. We've never cleaned litter boxes before because we don't really have cats and we don't know what to do. Whoa. Okay, you oh. might want to get out of here. Okay, okay. I don't think you want to vlog this. Goodbye, bye, bye. guys. Bye. <laughs> we're going to take Penny and Theo on a walk and then we're going to come back to feed the frogs. The frogs are nocturnal though, so we might have to wait until like around 5 p.m., 7 p.m to feed them, but we shall see when we come back. Tyler and Jahao told us that Penny responds to this phrase. Let's see. Penny wanna jeesh? Do you wanna go to work? Penny wanna jeesh? <laughs> oh, we're not on our walk. Oh, we're not on our walk. I oh my God. Penny is so much stronger than Tito. Look at this grass. Uh, I think it's sort of growing this winter with all the rain. Very pretty. So we're back from the walk. It is a bit later now and it's dark outside and we were able to find the frogs. Uh, so they're hiding in the corners and they camouflage pretty well. I'm gonna start with the dead one and then see if it works. Oh my God, Sweet Pea kind of scares me though. Yeah, okay, so there is Sweet Pea. Oh my gosh, she got it. She got the cricket. She's smiling. Hello. Finished the frog feeding and what I learned is that Chris and I cannot have frogs or anything that requires live feeding because we both cannot do it. Check out this view that you can see from the apartment. It's so cool. I'm gonna go out there so you guys can see better. You hear a lot of the car noise, but it's actually kind of nice. It's like white noise. And then you can see inside there's Chris checking out the frogs. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> He's looking at Sweet Pea now. There's Salem coming out. We've been watching Bling Empire while we're here and like I don't really watch reality TV, but this has been a little bit entertaining about rich Asian people in Beverly Hills slash Los Angeles. It is the next day and we are gonna take care of Jahao's plants. So they haven't been watered for about a week or a little over a week. And honestly, they're all doing pretty well. There are some signs of drought stress, so just underwatering. I am really impressed at how he's able to condense so many plants in this space. Like this wall is completely full of plants. This wall has four Ikea cabinets, two terrariums, uh, one aquarium. I think his life has been pretty busy lately, so a lot of his cabinets and plants are pretty overgrown, but that happens. I'm only gonna water them a little bit to the point where they won't die by the time Jahao comes back because I don't really know how he actually takes care of all of his plants and taking all of these out to water would be very difficult. Normally people use this for pesticides, but Jahao uses this to water his plants and also to mist his terrariums, which is really smart because it's a very large capacity and you can get a lot of stuff watered with this. This cabinet has a lot of his Anthuriums and philodendrons. He has some pretty cool orchids in here that that aren't really potted in any substrate. Like they're just bare root. These leaves have gotten a lot bigger from the last time we did the tour of his place. I don't even know where the pots are because the leaves are so massive. 
This cabinet is done. I am in love with this platycerium. It's a mermaid Ridleyi variety or cultivar. And I believe this is just a regular Ridleyi. I'm gonna water it from the top. Oh, oh, hmm, okay, no I won't. I'll water it from the base. The plants in here are really dry. Um, and a lot of these are anthuriums that are sensitive to underwatering. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure I give these all a good watering for him. I think I got all of them. Oh, there's one back here, I think. I believe these are Platycerium superbum. I think that Jahao has a mister that goes on in here or a fogger, so I don't think I need to do anything. You can see all of this condensation on the glass, whereas these have like no condensation at all. He has a lot of begonias and then he just has like smaller anthuriums or monsteras or alocasia, so they just look like they haven't sized up all the way. He also has a few air plants and I see a little platycerium back here. He has a lot of cool plants in here that I am gonna ask him if he wants to. Oh, no! Oh no, I'm sorry, Jao. Nothing happened though. Oh, there's a spider living in this cabinet. Jahao was telling me um, just yesterday, I think, that he, was have, that he had a dream that all of his plants died when he came back home. So <laughs> let's make that not happen. I'm going to use the watering can because I think that would make less of a mess. Silver sword here, his big monstera. There's this plant here in this red pot. I think it was an anthurium regal. I don't know what it looked like when Jahao left, but now it's pretty much unidentifiable. I really like this begonia. Um, I believe it's called begonia maculata and it's super tall. I like when these cane begonias get really tall and lanky like this because they just look so different um, compared to when they're small. I'm seeing some of the leaves crisping up. Begonias are really sensitive to underwatering and drying out. They look like the like biblically accurate angel. Mm -hmm. They look scary. A like the of, eyes. Not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time they've like, sat so close to each other. Oh, they're so cute. And these plants here are some of my favorite plants that Jahao has. And then I really like his bilitai and then his dark lord. This is a philodendron dark lord. And do you like the name? Yeah. <laughs> but also it looks cool too. It's like this super deep um, purple red color and it's really tall. I think, where does it start from? Right there. Is it this one? Yeah. yeah. It starts from this pot and it goes all the way up to there. And I might ask Jahal for a cutting because I kind of want it. For me? Yeah, it can be in Chris's room. <laughs> Um, and then I also really like his Adabapoensi. So this one also starts from way down here and then it's climbing to the top there. Here's this really tall monster Adansonii. Um, yeah, this thing definitely needs water. Oh, it's in this super, super tiny pot. I think this is like a four inch pot. I really like this Dracaena marginata that he has. Uh, it's just such a weird shape. These can go without water for a while, but I might as well do it. Um, while I'm here. And then this big fern really needs water. I think it, yeah, it has a saucer, so I'll just water it from the top. The plants out on the balcony, um, I was gonna water them, but luckily it's been raining for the past two days, so I haven't needed to take care of them because nature took care of them for me. Yeah, it's pretty cool out here. Jao has his panel of um, platycerium. There's this plant, I really like this one. It's an epipremnum. I think it's an epipremnum, or it's a monstera, I can't tell. Oh, and then I really like this begonia as well. This is a begonia luxuriens, and the shape is really interesting um, of the leaves. They're like palms, They're kind of palm-like. And then this is Penny, Jahao and Tyler's dog. Hi, Penny. Theo and her have been playing a little bit, but she's so much bigger than Theo that I get kind of scared for him, <laughs> even though she is really sweet. Oh, and then... Here are all of Jahao's cactus and succulents. Pretty nice, I really like this one. And this thing's called a rat tail cactus. And then I also like this. Um, we got this when we were uh, just driving around the neighborhood. Yep. Oh, I got the 
five point streak and double up. Theo and Salem are kind of getting closer, so instead of Salem being really scared and hiding, um, Salem has become a lot more curious of Theo, so we're taking good steps to them becoming friends. It is day four of house sitting at the Chahao slash Tyler residence. We got more crickets for Sweet Pea and Ye Chen. Uh, we learned from Jahao that we don't actually have to hand feed them the crickets. We can just put the live crickets into their enclosures and then they'll hunt for them. So yeah, that makes things a lot easier. These are the crickets for Sweet Pea. They're the larger crickets. And then Ye Chen gets uh, the smaller one. Do you want to put them in? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm yeah, I'm sorry, crickets. You guys are cute, but you're gonna put them the on frogs it? need to eat. Oh no! Okay. Really like being here. It's like really cool, and the view is amazing, and their house is amazing. But I am finding that I'm missing my plants. Like I kind of am just sitting around, and I'm like, what do I do? And I realize that a lot of my time that I spend at home is occupied by like taking care of my plants and monitoring them and I don't know just like enjoying them I suppose um and here like there are Jahao's plants which are amazing but they are not mine so yeah I think I might actually go home for a little bit um well I don't know I'm still deciding so as you can see I am at my apartment I ended up coming home uh today just to stop by to check on my plants and then uh just to shower in my own bathroom. And then I wanted to get my tripod so I can take some still videos at Jahao and Tyler's place because I wanted to do like a little bit of an apartment tour type thing. I'm um, just like a casual one. But yeah, I <laughs> did something that was kind of funny, honestly. Out in front of my door, I was growing some passiflora vines uh, for some uh, caterpillars and butterflies that only feed on passiflora plants but they completely ate my passiflora plant like to almost nothing. And there were still four caterpillars alive. And I was like, well, if I just leave them out there, they're gonna die. So before we left to Jahao and Tyler's place, I put them on the passiflora plant that's above my sink. <laughs> and I just came back after like five days and there is, <laughs> there is caterpillar poop everywhere on my kitchen counter. I cleaned up uh, most of it, but I left some just so I could show you guys. All these little tots are little caterpillar poops. Luckily, it doesn't smell bad. Like it doesn't smell like anything, but it is kind of gross. So I will be deep cleaning the kitchen area. I put some on my Dracaena Reflexa too. So I put two on my big Dracaena Reflexa because there are passiflora vines growing on here. And then I put two above the sink in my kitchen. And the ones on the Dracaena Reflexa are in their chrysalis stage right now. So I'll show you guys. It blends in really well with the tree. It's like right there. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it's not focusing. Here is another one. I'm not sure when they're gonna come out of their chrysalises or whatever, but yeah, once they do come out, I'm gonna release them out into the wild. Um, oh, and then I wanted to give you guys an update on my bookshelf terrarium. You can't really see it because it's all fogged up right now. I put this plastic wrap over it to cover the gap in the lid because um, it was drying out a little faster than I wanted it to. And in order to get the moss established, it needed a lot of moisture, but Look, it's doing really well. Yep, it's getting pretty green and it hasn't been that long. Maybe like two weeks or a little bit less than two weeks. Yeah, check that out. Pretty good, pretty good growth. And then here is my avatar aquarium. Um, I accidentally forgot to turn the filter back on. So the filter was off for like five days. Um, so there's a little bit of algae growing, but that's not, too big of a deal, but overall it's growing pretty well. 
And then this is messy, but I'm working on a bedroom makeover video. Found this bed frame on Facebook Marketplace. And then I found this rug um, on this website called Kayo that sells like used furniture stuff. And yeah, I got the bed frame for only like $300, which is crazy because it's this giant unit. I like to tell Chris that my first hobby is plants. My second hobby is interior decorating. And then my third hobby is refreshing Facebook Marketplace. Because look at that, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm working on a video um, about my bedroom and updating it pretty much. So I'm gonna head back over to Jahao and Tyler's place to go hang out with Chris. It is currently New Year's Eve, so December 31st, and I'm gonna bring over a bottle of rosé uh, and drink this with Chris. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, are you good? Yeah, it just like popped away more than I Guys, look, they're sleeping next to each other. So cute. Okay, goodbye, guys. Good night. <laughs> it is January 1st, so last night was New Year's Eve, and uh, yeah, I fell asleep at like 7 and then <laughs> I woke up at around 3 a.m. It's my last day here and I'm going to film the apartment tour and I'm also going to take some propagations of some plants that I am interested in. I asked Jahao if I could have propagations of his Dark Lord, his Philodendron Dark Lord, and his spider plant. So I'm going to cut those up and then pot them um, and then bring them home with me today. I have no idea where his plant scissors are, so I'm just gonna use the kitchen scissors. How much of it should I take off? His spider plant that he has is out on the balcony, so I'm gonna go get that. So the spider plant out here has multiple plants in one pot. So I'm going to take this apart and then pot one of them in a separate pot. Okay. I'm not sure where Jahao normally repots his plants because, I mean, this apartment's pretty small. I don't know if he does it on the balcony or inside, but I'm just gonna do it inside on top of this trash bag. I found this unused nursery pot outside, so I'm gonna pot it into here. Also, the soil I'm gonna use is from Repot Me. So Repot Me is the sponsor of this video. They sent me a bunch of different types of soils and soil materials, and I gave this bag of succulent and cactus soil to Jahao a little bit before he left to Taiwan because he had some succulents and cactus he needed to repot. Even though this soil is labeled for cactus and succulents, it is pretty much fine for like almost all house plants. But Repot Me does have multiple different types of specific soil mixes that you can purchase from their site. You can get specific types of lava rock or pumice or charcoal or sphagnum moss from them that you would maybe not be able to find at your local nurseries or big box stores around you. I'm always a little bit afraid of repotting plants that grow outside because I don't know what's in it. Like there could be a bunch of bugs and I don't have any gloves. So hopefully there is nothing living in here. The reason why I want a spider plant is because I saw a photo recently on Pinterest of a spider plant on a bookshelf and it looked really cool with all of the little spider plant babies hanging down. I'm not too fond of the variegated one. Um, I think the green one just has like a much cleaner look. And I want some plants on my bookshelf, just a few, but I need them to be really good in low light situations and a spider plant would be perfect for that. Hey, yay, no worms or centipedes or other gross outside bugs. Oh, actually, this thing has ants in it. <laughs> yeah, normally I do a layer of soil at the bottom first, and then I'll add in my plant.
this is also from Repot Me. It's their Orchid Slow Release Fertilizer. I brought this with me to put into Jahao Staghorn Ferns, but I don't really know if they're in their active growing stage, so I decided not to add them to his staghorns. But since this soil doesn't have any fertilizer in it, it's all just inorganic matter, I'm gonna add some of this slow release fertilizer to the soil. Even though it's labeled as an orchid fertilizer, it's gonna be just fine for a spider plant since they're not very fussy at all. Normally I would have added it to the soil before I potted the plant, That's that way it's distributed all across the soil, but I kind of forgot. Okay, now we are done. I'm gonna bring it outside and water it. Okay, so I'm going to film the apartment tour and then I'm gonna head home. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Jahao and Tyler for letting Chris and I experience this home for a whole week. And yeah, bye-bye.